guys, welcome to day four, and our topic today is on eating out. Um, eating out is a way of life it, um, for birthday parties or for uh, going on a date with our spouse or our loved ones, um, running errands and you're caught in traffic and you see a Taco Bell so you're starving and you eat there. Um, just whatever it is, um, we regularly, regularly eat out. Um, in a perfect world, we would be able to eat everything at home and have us make it but uh, that's not the real world. Um, I'm going to give you a few tips for eating out. First is order first. This way when you're hearing everybody else at the table order you're not second guessing your choice or you're thinking about some unhealthy ones because that sounds good and that sounds good. Maybe I'll try this this time. I'll do extra workout, something like that. Um, just order first, get it over and done with and be happy with what you've decided. Uh, next is read the descriptions on the menu. Um, is it really saucy? Is it packed full of things that are unhealthy? Or is it like light and fresh? Um, just make sure that you're paying attention to what the description is telling you. Uh, next, uh, skip the appetizer. This way, um, when your meal comes, that you can uh, not already be full, but feel now that you have to eat your dinner too, so then you eat that and you overindulge. Um, next is be salad savvy. Not all salads are created equal, especially those with like really creamy um, dressings like ranch, Thousand Island. Um, make sure to stick to the vinaigrettes. Um, my favorite is raspberry vinaigrette. I've also made a homemade um, honey poppy seed vinaigrette, which is very good, uh, and also a lot less calories. Next is customize your order. Um, you can replace, you know, fries with vegetables or some fruit or, you know, skip the bun on a hamburger, uh, different things like that. Uh, next is drink water. I like to get mine with a lemon in it just to add a little bit to it. But uh, drink a glass of water before your meal ever comes to you because then you're already helping your body with digestion, you're starting to feel full, you're getting rid of some of those hunger cravings, uh, things like that. Uh, next is portion control. Usually what they bring you at a restaurant is more than what you need. You can also skip the main course and just order uh, an appetizer for yourself and those are always a lot smaller. Um, one thing I've done is I'll take figure out how many calories there is and then I will take half of the order and put it in a box even before it's there so I'm not tempted to overeat. Um, next is make sure that you pay attention to your sauces. Obviously your tomato and those kind of based sauces are a lot better than your alfredo and your creamy sauces. Uh, next is be smart on des dessert. We all like dessert but do you really need it? Um, make sure that you choose the the better dessert over, um, you know, the chocolate filled molten lava cake or something like that. Also, um, if you're going to a party, one thing you can do is ask the, the hostess what their menu is. And if there's nothing on the menu that it sounds very uh, appetizing or healthy, then you can offer to bring a guilt free um, side dish or something to go along with that so that you aren't tempted to eat those things. Also you can eat before you go so that way you just take a little here, a little there. Um, stay away from the cheese platters. It's okay to have an ounce or two but until you uh, figure out how much an ounce or two is, um, probably best to stay away. Um, nibble on some protein. Um, stay away from the crackers and the dips. Try and stick to the fruit and veggie trays, mostly the vegetables. Um, also, I have a little guide here. You should avoid like pigs in a blanket, anything fried, buffalo wings, potato chips, um, sausage, things that you can enjoy or shrimp, um, hummus in a pita. Uh, I, for one, have only tried hummus once and I've eat, ate it with vegetables and I really liked it. I did buy mine. I didn't make it. Um, I know Courtney has uh, lots of menus for hummus and that's a good alternative. Um, anything that's grilled, like your, especially your fish and your chicken, that can be very healthy for eating out. Um, also, you can um, be creative with what your hostesses put out, you know, uh, scrape off the sauces and things like that. 
So my challenge to you is uh, also next time before you go out, if you know where you're going, check out the restaurant's menu Make so you can already know what you're going to eat and not have to question and Google or uh, MyFitnessPal or whatever it is to figure out how many calories, it, calories are in there. But I hope you guys all are eating healthy and enjoying this 10-day challenge. I know that if you stick with it and really do uh, do the 10 days of clean eating, especially when we eat out, that uh, you will feel a lot better at the end. Thanks. See ya.